Um, what you guys are um, working on will take severe concentration. So, silence is needed till the moment where Wabu says that she can begin speaking with him. So, for those of you who are staying, over the next 30 minutes, the room is in utter silence, other than Wabu's chanting as he is slathering this this arm in um, oils and aromatics. And over the course of the first, like, 30, 40 minutes, um, watch as this arm seems to regenerate into a a new body. And it begins to also fix the aroma. However, Wabu, post the spell for me, please. Cool. Yep. Roll me a D100. Ninety-eight is a tiefling. As the body begins to form, it seems to elongate. Um, it. This is not the size of a man. Instead, the size of a tiefling. It begins to grow horns, and the skin color begins to change. Red. You can see the teeth inside the mouth are rather sharp, pointed. Um, it this is not the size of a man, instead the size of a tiefling. It begins to grow horns, and the skin color begins to change. Red. You can see the teeth inside the mouth are. Rather sharp, pointed. And as this creature forms on the table, um, you do hear. I'm going to need a concentration check from Wabu as Betney. That's not his body! Um, and begins to uh, accidentally break your concentration. So let's see that concept. Here's my concept. Hold concentration. And, and, and as she's kind of freaking out, Ash kind of like, you know, puts a hand over her mouth. He needs to concentrate. He needs to concentrate. Sorry, I'm trying to whisper, but my stream won't pick it up unless I'm a little louder. Shh, he, he needs to concentrate. And, and she kind of calms down. You can kind of hear whispers in the background, Wabu, but... You continue to shoot your chant, and you, you get louder to try and um, hold your concentration on it. Um, obviously, Bethany is surprised that this particular body in front of her is not a human. However, you, you continue, and Ash kind of calms her down, and in fact pulls her off to the side for a moment. It says... Doing the best you can. Um, I mean, you can't really hear Wabu. Uh, none of you really can, but just for... They, they, they seem to be talking back and forth. Um, but Ash seems to calm her down. And now you're about uh, 45 minutes in. And the body has fully formed. At this point, Wabu... You're aware that this would be a good point for her to begin speaking. You kind of uh, tell her to come over and take one of your hands. Um, as both you've been using your hands to oil the, the arm and such, um, and continue oiling uh, whatever body part grew. Um, she reaches out to take your hand. And as she she does, you kind of make sure that the the oil um, kind of slathered on her as well, on, on her hand. And you hold her hand. And suddenly you are both shunted um, into a strange place.
It seems to be full of light. Radiance stings eyes. Both you and her can barely see. But eventually, you see a young man hugging a young woman. And at this point, you tell her, speak to him, if you wish. She says, but that's not... Oh my gods. Jimmy? And he kind of like stops hugging this woman and it's over. Bethany! It's lovely to see you, girl! You're, you're so young. I. This. You, you've you never met her. Uh, Bethany, the, the little girl I told you about. This. Boombreaker, you're ruining a beautiful moment here. <laughs> this, this is Solitude. This, this is my wife. She passed when we were young. Um, tell the two this this is Betney. Oh dear. He's told me so much about you. It's nice to meet you. Betney suddenly um, seems a little sad. Uh, it, it's nice to meet you too. Um, J Jimmy, I, I'm here to to bring you back. Uh, th this is Wabu, a friend of Ashes. Ah, hello, Wabu. Uh, but bring me back. What do you mean? He's he's casting a a, a spell to bring you back into your body. He seems to be thinking for a moment. Right. I'm dead. That's how I reunited with... Elitu. Yes, I, I, I remember now. Rocks falling. I, I was trapped for days. And then I don't remember anything. She goes... You were, you were crushed. You, uh... You held on, but... They weren't able to get you out in time. I I see. Because I, I I don't suppose you want to come back. I mean, the the city needs Jimmy Soups. No. No, my dear. They don't. Zelda two needs me. And he kind of grasps uh, the hand of uh, his long-past wife. And she says, Bethany says, but, but without you, I, I have no one. My mother's been gone for years. I never knew my father. You're, you're it. You're what I have. Sorry, my dear. I lived a long life. And I was alone until I met you and your mother. You were something of a daughter to me. But my time on on that world is... It is gone. It's over. The world is in turmoil, and there's nothing I can do to help it. But maybe you can. And when the day comes and your fighting is done, your watch has ended. There are some things that you might need. And he lets go of his wife's hand, and he begins to whisper something into her ear 
and he smiles. And he brushes the back of his hand against her cheek, brushes some hair over her ear. You were like a daughter to me. And I'm proud of you. Now go. Be with Ash. Be with your new friends. Help them save the world. Goodbye, Bethany. And he looks at you, Wabu. And he says, Thank you for allowing me to see her again. Please watch over her. So Wabu will just kind of smile and nod. And, and uh, he's like, well, I'm just glad you guys could speak once more. She seemed pretty broken up about it. Well, she has new friends now. Maybe one day, she will have children of her own. You can feel the pride that I feel in her. And he looks back to Batney. Gives her a kiss on the forehead. And with that, him and uh, the wife hold hands again. And they begin to walk away into the ever bright light. With this, it's very